Hey, Wes, what's going on, man? Yeah, I've heard, uh... I've heard Alien Isolation is great. I watched a Let's Play of uh, AI five plus years ago, so I feel like uh, my brain has dumped all the memory of it out, so I'll, I'll be able to play it, and it'll be pretty much blind. I'm not brave. Are you kidding me? I don't want to play that in VR, but I think it would be a, a fun thing for people to laugh at me with. You, you completely misunderstood. Aha! Calm down. I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Oh, damn it. Really? All right. Well, there might be a couple problems with that. Wait, really? Oh, there we go. Yeah, a fictional one anyway. You're silly, Monica. Oh, she said it. Fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, bud. Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Alright. The lady who knows everything. Wow, her poem's always really long. I'm also planning on what remains of Edith Finch. I just recently beat uh, Edith Finch. That was uh, really good. I was very impressed. I mean, it's just a visual novel story walk around thing, but it was really good. I liked um, the storytelling elements. They differentiate depending on the people, and it's really awesome. Really, really, really good. Highly recommend. All right. The lady who knows everything. Oh. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who was found who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift, the sky, victim of currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else failed me, when all the others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glowing in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow, I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. What? Is that... Has she always done that with her cues? But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. I understand nothing about that one too. All right, here I thought I was getting proud of myself about understanding these poems. I don't understand any of the poems I've read today. You know, I feel like Learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. But it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. You never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we all had this, the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Yes! Is that my fault, though? That might be my fault. Because I'm picking all the sad and depressing stuff. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? You can write about happy things. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean- wait, what? You mean one-dimensional? Was that a joke? Was that a second self-aware joke the game's made? Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, okay, or bad, the 
you'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's so much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right, Natsuki. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, she's such a turd. Yeah, you didn't even... Next! What? Does she just hate me because I don't choose her at all? <laughs> oh, I kind of feel bad, but that's still kind of funny. Okay, you three. Well done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second! Is it just me? Or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from the usual catchphrase when addressing the club. She has a usual catchphrase? C-c-catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. See, I didn't pick up on it. Jeez! Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. Stagnating air is calm and foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Yeah, uh, where's Sayori? She went home early. I want to go check up on her. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. Uh, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is torn off when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went to pee. <laughs> That's good. You please show some decency. Oh, come on! She doesn't actually... She... Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you picked the time she's not feeling well. I would have gone home with her if they let me. The game didn't let me, Natsuki. Ugh. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second... She's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Ooh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all- wait. Why is that in quotes? Bug. No! Oh! Keep missing. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys! I talked to her early and everything is fine. Ugh. What did she say? Just ignoring me? Okay. Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing! That's right! Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we may need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself... I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. So Yuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri! Jeez! Oh, that scared me! A new follower. It's... You're gonna have to tell me how to pronounce your name, but welcome to the stream and welcome to the Pupper Pile! Let me get them follow cookies out. How are you doing, my friend? Say thank you for the follow! Where's Jada? Jada, what cookie? Come here! Oh, you got a ball. Here, you gotta bring that to me. You can't have that. You want a cookie? I have it. Thank you. Here you go. Jada found a tennis ball. And <laughs> she was chewing on it. You can't eat the tennis ball, Tubus. TNM. TNM. Should I just say TNM? Oh, it's TNM. Gotcha. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you popping in. How you doing? You can, um... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No! Hey, see? No. N no! That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Nah! <laughs> Natsuki. N now Natsuki's pouting too. <laughs> 
easy, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when you, she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't be the leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri! You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set up the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love Atmosphere. I kind of wish that was a capital A, because that's a name of a rapper, Atmosphere. <laughs> I love Atmosphere. Monica gently brushes Yuri's boob with her sentient hair. <laughs> right, her hair is whack, man. Is it okay if I give a little tip? Holy shit! Yuri! With the five bitties! A little tip of what? It depends, no spoilers. That is, that is a... That is a prerequisite. Um... Yuri with the five fifty bitties! Thank you for those bitties! Say thank you for those bitties! Nom 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 <laughs> Yuri's popping out a lurk. For throwing some bitties again. Good dogs. Yuri loves atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Big Papa. The one who is truly useless. Yep. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would be, it would probably be go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. She got all sweaty faced. Keep the game directory files open. You're the second person to say that. Oh, I forgot to do that today. A uh, buddy of mine told me that. Hold on, let me get that. Let me get that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, local files, browse local files. Here we go. Like, uh, I did that last stream and nothing happened, so. Uh, yeah, there's still 12 items. Characters, D, DLC, dot app, game, lib, ren, P, steam, shader, crash. Right, I'll keep this open. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yuri's a little ninja. Not this Yuri in the game. The Yuri in the chat. I can point. There's no chat on the screen anymore, so whatever. Yuri in chat is different than Yuri in game. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's. Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are you going to respond to a suggestion like that? I suppose I would mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give to you. So I'm like Monica's gonna give do me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Big Papa may not like to be around if only make him out to be a nuis nuisance. So, therefore... He may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on! I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just trying to ex make, make an excuse for Big Mama too. W what are you saying? That would be extremely meticulous work. And baking is it? Oh my god, they're fighting again. Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up for Big Papa to decide how I'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? I was just gonna say that. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said! Uh, I'm surprised as well. S sorry I was just saying, though. Jeez! Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Big Papa, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you! Uh, of course. Mm. Very well. <laughs> In that case, everyone look straight at me! Oh, everyone look straight at me. Why does Sayori have dots? Wait, didn't Monica say she was gonna spend time with Sayori? 
Well, I don't want to go with Natsuki, although I love cupcakes and I would love to munch on some cupcakes. All right, here's one. I don't want to go with Natsuki because Natsuki and two, I would be a horrible baker cake cupcakery person because I would just eat all the ingredients. So we're not going to go with Natsuki. Yuri, I want to go with because Yuri. Monica, I want to go with because we have the game has literally given me not no opportunity to hang out with Monica and what the heck is with Sayori and the dots? And on top of that, Monica just said that Sayori was going to help her out. So, did I misread something? I thought Monica said that Sayori was going to help her with some decorations. But now Monica's saying she's not. I'm very confused. Keep the game, game director. Oh, I already read that. Um... I kind of want to go hang out with Sayori because she's having a hard time too. And plus, the dots here is weirding me out. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and. Uh oh. But Monica said. Monica said that Sayori was helping her. See? I did call it. I did read it right. Jeez! Do you really hate us that much? Just you. N no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Was that being self-aware? That was strange. Uh... Okay, so if I choose Monica again... Will they... Will it go down to net? I have to choose Monica just because... They got mad and they removed Sayori. Well, I guess I should probably help be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! Uh oh. Hold on one sec! Yeah. Oh, the goofy music's back. Monica! You're the one who needs the least help out of all of us! Eh? But... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person... If you guys can see, Mom's just staring at a fly. <laughs> but you already have Sayori as well. Fly. You missed it! You missed the fly, Mama! You missed it! <laughs> that doesn't matter! You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place! She didn't scare me. You're the club president, Monica! You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club! Oh my god. Uh, I just created so much drama. I didn't think you would do this. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, otherwise, this wouldn't have been such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah! We have a lot of work to do, you know! We want to do as good a job as you make us all work alone! Uh, maybe that's, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um... Uh... So are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. Poor Monica, I feel bad for her. I haven't got to do anything with Monica! I hardly know anything about her. Well, I know the stuff that I've heard from others and her, but I haven't even got to write a poem for her. I haven't got to hang out with her. Now everyone's going crazy. <sighs> it's technically more logical for Big Papa to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Aw, I'm sorry, Monica. Do you have a preference, Big Papa? Yuri, fucking no contest. Well, I'll probably be more... <laughs> this is awful. It's like, oh, Yuri, please don't think you're a third choice. Oh, I want to... Yuri, don't think of your third choice. It was one, Sayori is having a hard time and I want to go hang out with her. And two, I had to choose Monica just because I was gaming the game and I wanted to know if she would get removed. And things happen, okay? Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Plus, I would eat all the ingredients at Natsuki's place. And she drives me crazy. But in the bad way. Me? Are you serious? 
did you? Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. 